somebody misjudged the turn, ran into the pine tree. I didn't know if I could do reverse while I was doing that. You so. can't really do reverse, no. So what do you want me to do? I'll hold that while you back up. Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. This is my August update on the Lawn Cube program. Hopefully behind me you can see the lawns looking great. Now like I said, this is our August update. It's actually just August 1st today when I'm recording this. I'm not sure when you'll actually see it. But I wanted to give an update so far on the lawn. We've been using the Lawn Cube program since March. They send you out packages once a month, uh, calculated exactly for your lawn size based on a soil sample that you send them early on in the process. So they've been sending us treatments specific for 20,000 square feet of our front yard. So that's not entirely the front yard, but it's a good portion of it. Almost up to what I call the grove that I'm letting the grass grow a little bit longer this year. This is actually our July shipment. I haven't put it down yet. They send you a letter each time with directions for the cube, what the cube contains, how to apply it, when to apply it. So here's what our cube statement looks like this time. It says 100 pounds of gypsum to continue to add calcium to your soil. Everything is measured to be applied over 20,000 square feet evenly. It says to empty it into the favorite fertilizer spreader as much as you want to do at a time. Sort of low setting on your spreader to get a feel for how the product spreads. Crisscross your pattern to ensure that everything gets spread evenly over your lawn. Now if you watched my other lawn cube application videos earlier in the year, you saw I used this Earthway spreader. This is a great spreader. I'd say it's almost commercial quality. Uh, it seems to be really good at putting down the material, really easy to know your settings and really easy to follow along. To me though, the only downside is it's only got a 40 pound hopper, at least the one that I've got here, which is the Earthway 2600A+. So filling this up with 40 pounds at a time makes me break the bags into sections. Um, and it's also quite a bit of weight to be pushing 20,000 square feet of kind of a soft yard with this. The wheels are nice and wide, but they do still sink in when the lawn's soft. And we do have a section right here that's still a little soft. So today I'm gonna to try the AgriFab. I did a full assembly video on this. I also did an assembly video on the Earthway spreader. So if you're interested in those, those are back in the channel library if you wanna search for them. This AgriFab spreader is an 80 pound capacity and it is a tow behind. So I'll be using the Honda Foreman four wheeler to tow this spreader, putting down, I'll put 50 pounds at a time in it. We'll set it on a low setting, just like suggested. So I'm just gonna adjust my setting here. I said in the assembly video, this AgriFab tow behind spreader, that I didn't think it was the same quality as the Earthway spreader. And I can tell you already, I'm having trouble just with this adjustment piece. This is where you adjust the opening, you can see that. But this is kind of your stopper so you know how far to push up and i'm having trouble getting it to move it feels very cheap almost like i'm going to break it i can open it the stopper further but even pinching the sides as instructed in the manual it's i'm having trouble getting it to slide back and that's just an example of the cheap plastic material used on this settings versus the nice metal material used on the Earthway spreader. So I think that's probably about as far as I'll get it to go up. I'll just have to kind of maintain level using just this handle. And again, this handle isn't super sturdy either. Let me show you comparison between this and the Earthway. You can see here on the Earthway spreader, it's really easy to adjust your set point to whatever level you want. And then your handle just opens and stops at it. Nice metal mechanism, very sturdy. Works really good.
Now I'm going to start right here on the four-wheeler going up and down this side of the yard. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, I haven't showed you every application because obviously who wants to see that every single month. But I did skip the May application and I'll tell you why. We've mentioned in previous videos that we used the Sunday lawn system before. We thought it was a pretty safe system. And I know this, the word safe for lawn care is a subjective term. But for us, it's important to keep kids and pets safe. If you watch the channel, you know we have Olive, our Great Dane Rescue, and this is as much her lawn as it is ours. So we don't want to put something down that puts her or kids or anyone at risk. And the May shipment from Lawn Cube was an herbicide that is probably put down every single day on lawns across the country. But when I read through the ingredients and the instructions, it said to put it on using PPE, so wear personal protective equipment, try not to breathe it, try not to get it on your hands. And to me, that just worried me a little bit. So we skipped the May application of that herbicide. I just don't want to put something down that could potentially harm a pet or a family member. So we skipped May, we went ahead and did the June. This is again, the July application. We're putting it down August 1st. We'll go ahead and get started. Since we got two bags of material, and you're supposed to crisscross. I'm going to try to make this first bag last the entire yard, and then I'll go the opposite crisscross direction with the other bag. So I'll be adjusting the dispense rate as we go to try to get a feel for it. First 50 pounds is down and I went up and down the yard. So now I'll do the other 50 pounds going back and forth. But I wanted to give you an update on the AgriFab tow behind spreader. It's definitely much easier than pushing, but it's definitely not the same quality also. A couple things I was using at about level three. Spreader level three to apply that and you can see how much that left open which quite a bit this agitator pin works really good at the very end I did open it all the way up because as you can see the opening is just at the front what I'm calling the front of the spreader here and stuff kind of builds up back here so as I got closer to the end I had to open it more and hope that this would bounce around a little bit so that the material would come up here to the front and dispense I'm gonna go ahead and put that second bag in now and we'll get the rest of this done. I said in a previous video, this lawn that we have cur currently used to be just field. This was an old pasture field that I built my house on and just started mowing it. Uh, so very little grass seed other than just, you know, if I damaged part of the lawn at one point, I would apply grass seed. And I can say that the lawn cube system this year, I believe has our lawn looking uh, the best it's ever looked. I think one of my favorite things about the Lawn Cube system is that it's custom tailored treatment for my lawn. I sent them the lawn soil sample and they've been sending me the exact right amount and the exact right materials to apply to make my grass look this good. So, you know, I'm, I don't know that much about lawn care, 
um, from a chemical perspective or a soil sample perspective. So I appreciate that they know all that and I don't have to know about, you know, acid levels or how much calcium I need or when to apply lime. They send me what I need, when I need it, in the right amount with great instruction. So really, I think kind of a foolproof system, if you will, uh, that they send you exactly what's right for your lawn rather than me trying to figure out in my head by going out to Home Depot, trying to figure out what percentages of things I need for my soil and maintain the lawn. Uh, this way, the professionals are doing it and I can just apply it. I don't know if you could see the application system. The Honda Foreman doesn't turn super sharp, so it's not like a zero turn where I can go up and back, up and back, zigzag, and get everything. So what I did was I came down, made a wide loop, back around, and I just kept shifting that loop one path at a time over until now I've enclosed that whole area. Now I'll start over again at the next section of the lawn, making that big loop, and keep just inching it up one track at a time until I've closed in all the area and I'll start another loop in the last upper section of the yard. Somebody misjudged the turn, ran into the pine tree. I didn't know if I could do reverse while I was doing that. You so can't really do reverse, no. So what do you want me to do? I'll hold that while you back up. Watch out for that tree. Okay, how'd it go? Good. Much easier applying it with the pull behind spreader than pushing the whole thing with the Earthway. But I said earlier in the video, the Earthway is a much higher quality spreader than this one is. This handle could break off at any second. It's really weak. Where did we get this one? Uh, Rural King, or some people say Royal King. Mm -hmm. So that went down, it was 100 pounds of gypsum we just put down on the 20,000 square feet. It was nice to be able to see the tracks where the four-wheeler went and kind of guide your rows. And even though the four-wheeler doesn't turn very tight, it was nice enough to make, you know, you, you make a loop around and you keep make, moving your loop up each time. does not turn very tight. No. Nope, you just got to plan ahead. I was following, you told me I needed to follow my tracks each time. And I didn't want to get in trouble for going outside of my tracks. Yep, you did a good job. <laughs> we have these nice pine needles on the four-wheeler. That's all right. Good job applying the lawn cube system. Like I said, so far I've been happy with it this summer. There was one that I skipped. If you like videos like this, you have to do that part now. If you like videos like this, if you like videos like this, click that like button, comment down below, share with your friends, and click subscribe. We'll see you the next time. Watch out for that tree.